Once you have an EasyBib project, you're going to want to go into the bibliography to start recording sources. So click bibliography. And now you have this ribbon up at the top that lets you choose the types of sources. If you use a source from the open web, you can paste the URL in and EasyBib will help you with the citation. It will never do the full citation, but it will help you. Please do not use this option if you use a database. Pasting the URL in from a database just doesn't work. If you use a book, choose the book tab. And you can type in the title, but the easiest thing is to type in the ISBN. That's the International Standard Book Number. And you'll find it almost always on the back of the book and also the back of the title page. And I, I'm going to go ahead and I've saved it. I'm going to paste it in. And notice you do it without those dashes. And then you click Cite It. And most of the time, it will find it for you. Sometimes it will find more than one. And then you may need to um, check the, uh, the title page, the back of the title page, to make sure that the publisher and the publication date jive. I've done that, and I'm going to go with this one. And now it's filling out the form for me and giving me an opportunity to check it. Like, perhaps it found the book, but your publication date is slightly different, so you'd want to change that. This all looks good to me, so I'm going to click Create Citation. And now I have my citation. For this project, you're going to be using a lot of databases. However, you're really not going to need the Database tab because for all the databases we use, we're going to be able to import them into EasyBib. And I will show you how to do that in another video.